Okay, so the question now is the sixth question from tutorial 50 ohms characteristic impedance 0.12 lambda. Uh, 4 is the standing wave ratio. So, this is my 4 is my standing wave ratio. Z0 that is characteristic impedance is 50 ohms. And I've been told that 0.12 lambda uh, V minimum is 0.12 lambda from the load. From load. So, so, if this is my transmission line and this is my load. Hello, AD load, and this is my input, input, so or the source. Uh, my v minimum, v minimum lies somewhere here, and the distance from the load is 0 0.12 lambda. So, in on the Smith chart, my v minimum is over here, and v maximum is over here. So. We now know that uh, our load is 0 0.12 uh, lambda away from V minimum. So if this is my V minimum, from V minimum I have to go towards load 0 0.12 lambda. So I am going towards the load. So this is, if you, you won't be able to see, but this is towards the load, wavelengths towards the load. And this is 0, 0.0. So now we just add 0 0.12 to it. And then we get somewhere over here. It is 0 0.12 lambda from the load. So let's do it and let's mark the point 0 0.12. Now I am going to join it with the center of the circle or the smith chart. Oh, now this is done. So our ZL lies somewhere on this line. So how how are, how, how are we going to find out the next uh, the point on this line is by using standing wave ratio. Now we know that standing wave ratio is basically nothing but the uh, place where uh, our uh, constant VSWR circle cuts on the x axis. So now this is my 4.0. So this is where my standing wave ratio or constant SWR is located. And all I have to do is draw a circle from the center to this point and if I just draw it like this okay, I'm, I've drawn this one. this is my constant VSWR circle so this is where my uh, point intersects the circle the line intersects the circle now we are going to find out all the points associated this is where my ZL is okay small ZL where ZL that is our actual load impedance would be Z0 so Z0 into ZL this ZL small ZL okay so now we need to find out our small ZL which is the basically two points the first point would be the the big circle if you can notice the big circle it is be between 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 so it should be around 0. 4 and 6 so 5 0 0.47 around 0 0.47 so my ZL is is equals to 0 0.47 and the second point is from this line that comes so it is 0 0.245 so 4 6 8 and this is 9 so around 0 0.85 0 0.85 J so now this sign would be minus just because it is below the uh, x-axis. Anything below the x-axis is minus and anything above the x-axis is plus. So as it is the, below the x-axis, we answer our question that load is inductive or capacitive. Of course it is inductive be because the, uh, sorry, the load is capacitive. This is capacitive and this is inductive loads. Okay. So the load is capacitive because of course this is a minus sign. So now my ZL would be easily found out which is Z0 into uh, small ZL which I get around 23.5 minus 42.i ohms. This is my ZL. Okay.